What's up, YouTube? My name is Ty, financial advisor. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is MULN, Mullen Automotive. This finishes at $1.42 today, but here in the aftermarket, it is now down to $1.23. And it's gone. So we talked about the stock yesterday. Had a big pump. It looked like a gamma squeezed due to good PR about their battery. And today this did make top 10 on stock twits again. Had about 8,000 mentions. So once again, we're going to analyze it. So there is a reason as to why the stock is going down so much in the aftermarket. The CEO did an interview with Todd Alt. So I personally didn't see the interview. But you guys here in the community have been telling me that it was pretty bad. People have been telling me that the battery tested doesn't actually fit on the car. So the 600 mile range is a bit exaggerated. He didn't really respond to Hindenburg. He just said it's a bunch of BS, but he didn't respond individually to every single accusation. And there was no announcement of which Fortune 500 company they have a deal with. So I'm not really sure what everyone was expecting, but this seems like a sell the news event. The interview was a catalyst. Market didn't like how it went. So it's selling off pretty big here in the aftermarket. Sucks, but I can't say I'm surprised. But all right, let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, it looks like we have a cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being 75 cents, and there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 170, 180, 285, 320, 360, or even 425. And in the longer term, this is part of an even bigger cup and handle, where the top can be 585, 610, 740, 815, 905, 980, 1085, 1180, or even the high of 1590. So those are all bullish indicators. That is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And then we do have a double gap down. First gap down is back at 11.90. So that's a bullish indicator. That is telling us that the stock should come back up to 11.90 to fill this gap. Second gap down is at 4.65. So another bullish indicator. That is telling us that the stock should come back up to 4.65 to fill this gap. But we also have a double gap up. First gap up is at 60 cents. So that's a bearish indicator. That is telling us that the stock may come back down to 60 cents to fill this gap. Looks pretty unlikely at this point, but possible, so be aware of that, guys. And second gap up was created yesterday at 103. So another bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back down to 103 to fill this gap. In the aftermarket here, this is pulling back down to 123. So that's a bearish indicator for tomorrow. That is suggesting that tomorrow the stock will sell off as well. And if this aftermarket action holds, a new gap down will be created tomorrow at 140. So that would be a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 140 eventually to fill this gap. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now this is sitting on the support of 140, which I finished around today. So if this goes to the upside, the next levels of resistance would be 155, 170, 180, 190, 195, 205, 210, 215, 225, 235, 245, 250, 255, 265, 270, 280, 285, 290, and then $3. There is resistance above $3, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 135, 125, 120, 115, 110, one dollar, 98 cents, 88 cents, 75 cents, 60 cents, and then the low of 52 cents. So right now at the current price, 142, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty wide. So expect significant price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 180 to the upside, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 180. And then after 305, the channel starts to open up and get really wide again. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 305. And to the downside, if slash when this breaks 120, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 120. And then below $1, the channel starts to open up and get really wide. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks $1 to the downside. RSI is currently at 56. So that is pretty average. So according to the RSI, the current price of 142 is around fair market value. Maybe should be a little bit lower. And it definitely will go lower when this opens tomorrow. And this did $230 million in volume today way above the average of 28 million. So the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So honestly, fundamentally, I'm not the biggest fan of the stock. I personally wouldn't put my money in this. So what I'm going to say here is just based on the technicals. So long-term, the stock looks really good. Got some very strong bullish indicators in the cup and handle and double gap down. However, in the short term, I do think this is due for some pullback. We got some bearish indicators in the 
double gap up and aftermarket action. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not do that and I would not recommend that just yet at least. I do think the gap will fill at $1 and it may possibly even come back down to 60 cents, but I do think that's unlikely. So 142 is a pretty decent entry, a very average entry, not great, but not terrible. But I think if you're a little patient here, this should come back down to 103 to fill the gap. And I think that'd be a very excellent entry. So I would support going long at 103. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. And I would say going long at $1 would be a high risk, very high reward play. Somewhat of a gamble, but there is a lot more upside than downside, which would make going long there worth a shot. At $1, it should fill the gap at 140, which will be created tomorrow. And that would be a 40% upside. And this may come back up to... 425 to complete the cup and that would be a 325 percent upside so in the short term after this comes back down to one dollar i believe it'll have a 40 to 325 percent upside potential but at the same time it'll have a 40 percent downside potential because again there is a gap up at 60 cents so definitely worth a shot in my opinion going along at one dollar the reward definitely outweighs the risk there now if you want to go short now financial advice that seems like a decent play but not the greatest I set to go short yesterday at 140, and that would have been about a 30% downside to a dollar. But here in the aftermarket at 125, that's only now a 20% downside potential, which is still pretty good, just not nearly as good as yesterday. And again, there will be a gap down at 140, and that would be about a 10% upside potential from the current price 125. So it's either going to come back up to 140 and then down to a dollar, or down to a dollar and then back up to 140. Either way, it's coming back down to a dollar. So as long as you're able to withstand some upside pressure here, you should be able to make 20% to the downside here. So a little risky, not nearly as good as yesterday, but still some pretty decent tendies to the downside here. So I would support going short at 125, and I would cover at $1 where the gap is. So pretty straightforward, guys. Bad interview. This was a sell the news event. Long term, based on the chart, the stock looks good. But in the short term, I do think this is due for a pullback. So if you want to go long, I would hold off to a dollar. I think that'd be an excellent entry. And if you want to go short, you did miss a lot of downside already but still a pretty decent play. So I can't support going short here at the current price and covering at a dollar. And that should be a relatively easy 20% downside gain there. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today and good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is MULN Mullen Automotive. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands, to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.